what's up Libra? I'm Infinite Starheart. Welcome to my channel. This will be your August 2020 monthly reading for all of my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay? If you have those placements anywhere in your chart, these messages may resonate for you there also. If you're new, welcome and thank you for being here. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to stay updated with the current energies and the content I put out on my channel. Okay? Um, I also can be reached for a um, reading if you would like to book one. You can reach me at infinitestarheart at gmail.com, okay? Check the description box below for more details on that as well. All right, Libra, we're officially in Leo season. Let's see what are the messages you need to know for the month ahead. All right, Libra. We are going to see what are the messages that you need to know for August. Please note this is a general reading. Only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, Libra, we're going to see what are the energies surrounding you for August 2020. Alright, Libra, your first card out is Summer. It is time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in Summer. Okay. Here. And your next card is Transformation. Breakthrough, reinvention. You're ready for the next level. Okay, beautiful. Mask, illusions, duplicity, look beyond the superficial, okay? All right, here, we also have Rise Above. Drama, obstacles, pettiness, find the strength to rise. Absolutely. And your final card here, big goals, career, business, success, success, claim your, your place in the world, if I can speak. Okay. All right. That's beautiful energy um, for you, Libras. All right. And at the bottom of the deck here, you have nourish. Okay. Self-care, nutrition, exercise. Your body is your temple. Okay. Beautiful. So what I am getting here for you, Libra, is that um, you could have had some sort of epiphany or realization um, over the summer. The summer isn't quite over yet. Okay, so I feel like you're still in this energy here where you're going through some sort of transformation. Okay, um, this could be you um, going through an ascension in your spiritual journey. Okay, this can also be... Um, something ending this can be um a relationship a career um anything of that sort okay but the transformation is like a death and rebirth okay so um beautiful changes comes um after a transformation period here okay you are ready for the next level Okay, I feel like the transformation occurred due to some deception that you had surrounding you, all right? Um, there could have been someone here that was wearing a false mask. They could have been deceptive as far as what they were um, possibly, you know, their intentions for wanting to be in your life, okay? You have rise above. Drama, obstacles, pettiness, find the strength to rise, all right? This is you raising your vibration, okay? I'm um, choosing to um, not deal with, you know, just just a little pettiness this month. I feel like you're going to be in a higher vibration, 
okay? You're not going to be dealing with um, people this month that um, you feel that causes a lot of drama, okay? You're going to be separating yourself from that during this month because you're going to be working on your goals here, okay? You're going to be self-focused. You have career, business, and success. Claim your place in the world. So I feel like, okay, this is you. Um, you could be... Um, coming up with something new okay some um a new idea here this is you taking the time um you know writing down some new ideas um you could be doing something new on social media here as well okay you could be a motivational speaker of some sort or a teacher um but something you could be doing you know um online this month okay and it's going to turn out really good for you you have nourish, all right? You could be um, someone that is um, going to be taking extra care of, you know, your body this month. You're going to be um, making sure that you're eating more healthy, putting healthier, healthier foods in your body, okay? Possibly deciding to, um, you know, cut out meats and things of that sort. You know, taking a more vegan approach to uh, your your diet this month, okay? Because you're trying to, um, again, this um, raising your vibration, all right? This is all about, you know, to cutting out things that aren't good for you, you know, that can be in our diet um, just as well as in our lives. Exactly, you know, right? So it's like, um, you know, you are all about, you know, living a healthier uh, more balanced, you know, life. You're um, getting away from negativity, I feel, this month as well. Okay. Um, so far, beautiful energy uh, leader for the month of August. All right. Um, I feel like you are um, possibly currently in this transformation right now. <clears throat> I'm going to pull a love oracle for you see what other messages you get um this is a pre-message for august you have soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek Interesting. Okay, let's get another out here. Mm, okay, that makes sense. You have reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Alright. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to, um, that you're guided to take. All right, Libra, I feel like um, <clears throat> you could have went through some transformation with your soulmate um, here, or this could have been them, you know, going through some transformation and having some epiphany, um, you know, over the summer. You all could have been um, at a distance from each other, okay? Um, but yes, this is your soulmate. If this was them, you know, participating in some deception here, um, I feel like this is why they're trying to come back here with a reconciliation. Someone possibly could be apologizing, you know, for their behavior or actions um, towards you, okay? You have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, but I feel like it's this person here. Again, um, if they're from your past, you know, this could have been the one that was wearing a false mask in this relationship here. Um, so I see you again, like I said, um, rising above any of in drama or conflicts this month, okay? If this person is coming with any BS, I don't see that you're going to be um, taking part in any of it, okay? <clears throat> you have made the effort. I feel like this could be your person, all right? Possibly wanting to make the effort um, by making things right with you this month. Okay, but if, if they don't come correct, Libra, I don't see that you'll be dealing with them. Okay, let's get some more messages out here. I'm going to pull a power card for you. messages 
for my Libra. All right, Libra, you have seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. So, yes, I feel like that is what you are, like I said, doing at this moment. Um, you are standing up for things that you feel like, you know, you should be doing during this time, okay? You are having the confidence to move forward. The Seven of Gabriel is like the Seven of Wands, okay? Um, you possibly could have felt, you know, um, that you had to stand your ground regarding your beliefs in some sort of way uh, with this person, okay, um, that you were dealing with in the past. But due to it, um, you rising above, you choosing to um, just vibrate higher and not, you know, um, involve yourself in any lower type of vibrational energy here, you have justice coming out, okay? Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor don't give up. So, again, you could be dealing, um, you could be having any uh, legal issues that you're dealing with this month that you that is going to work out in your favor, okay? You have justice here, all right? The scales are going to be balanced in your favor, all right? Um, I feel like, too, this is how you feel, you know, with any connections with anybody that you're going to be dealing with this month. You want to have connections and relationships that are going to be balanced towards you, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what else we get. You have the four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions, okay? So, uh, the Four of Raphael here, this is also um, like the Four of Cups, all right? Someone could be feeling <clears throat> like, um, you know, some, like someone had, you know, more than one option here, okay? That could have been the deception that this uh, person that you were dealing with in the past, okay, was... Um, That, that you had to, um, like I say, walk away from. You had to take some time, you know, to figure out if this is really, you know, the person that you want to deal with here, okay? You all could be at a distance from each other as well, okay? Um, again, this could be um, an offer as well. We've seen, you know, the reconciliation card here, um where this person possibly is wanting to come back and try to reconcile possibly men you know um whatever they did here in the past whatever deception that they brought into this connection okay you have the moon at the bottom of the deck the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger <clears throat> so yes, the moon, this is beautiful energy here, okay? This is all about you being illuminated, all right? You deciding to, um, you know, take action, put in the plans um, towards your goals, the, the things that you want, you know, to make you happy, you know, during this time, okay? Um, again, this is you... Um, you know, choosing to, to live a better, you know, healthier life. Eating healthier foods and things of that sort, okay? So, um, you also could be dealing with someone that has Pisces in their chart. Okay? That can be you as well. Okay, Libra, let's see anything else you have going on for the month of August. Okay, your first card out is Intuition. Okay, this is you um, needing to um, pay attention to your intuition during this time, okay? You are very intuitive here. I feel like uh, you also have the crown chakra, okay? This is you being aware 
um, being very intuitive. You could be a spiritual teacher of some sort, okay? Um, but this is you um, going within, listening to your, um, you know, your your higher selves, and um, going after what it is you feel that you deserve during this time. Okay, you also have spiritual union here. Alright, um, this could be a new love that's coming in, alright? Um, this is usually a soulmate, twin flame as well. Again, we did see soulmate that, that came up here um, earlier in the reading, okay? I feel like um, you may have two different options here, uh, Libra, okay? You have um, foundations and achievements at the bottom of the deck. This is you creating the um, stability and um, have, <clears throat> having a firm foundation, you know, within the home. Um, this can be you building something, you know, that's solid as well. Um, this can be you purchasing a new home this month, okay? You could be relocating. All right. We're going to uh, clarify these energies. Let's clarify this transformation and soulmate here. Okay, you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. All right, this is no longer um, giving into a situation, you know, um, emotionally or, you know, not giving, you know, any love to this person. It's like you didn't um, end it something here in a connection okay yeah you have the six of cups the ace of pentacles um and the seven of cups okay all right and then you have the ace, ace of cups in the reverse at the bottom okay the seven of cups is in the reverse it's letting me know that someone was dissatisfied in this connection Possibly was unfaithful as well. Okay, we've seen um, with the four of Raphael, uh, that's like the four of cups, someone having, you know, many options, okay? Um, you know, and that's having many choices as well with the seven of cups. Someone wanted a new opportunity with the ace of pentacles here. And I feel like you ended a connection, um with someone that you possibly was dealing with uh, here. They can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart, okay? Um, with the Ace of Cups at the bottom, it's in a reverse. It's like someone was running from this connection, okay? All right, you felt like um, you have nothing left to give as well. Why is deception here for Libras? Yeah, this, um, you felt like this person, you know, was holding you back some way. You have the Nine of Cups here, it's in the reverse, and in the upright, this is wish fulfillment. This is being happy and satisfied, you know, with everything in your life. And in the reverse, it's, you're telling me that, that you weren't. Um, again, someone was wearing a false mask, whether that be you, Libra, or whoever else you were dealing with, okay? The roles can be reversed here. Um, but yeah, someone was just not happy in this connection, okay? And with the Nine of Pentacles here at the bottom, it's like, you're telling me you would rather be alone, okay? You would rather focus on the things that you need to work on, all right? Your stability and, um, you know, your finances and things like that than to be dealing with, um, this person and their drama. <coughs> What else 
for my Libras. Yeah. But the Four of Cups here are coming out again. Okay. Someone is feeling like this was a missed opportunity. All right. Feeling like you had to be cautious in this connection with the Eight of Swords as well. Um, this person possibly could have tried to cause some kind of confusion here um, with other people that they were dealing with. Okay. But with the Queen of Wands here, <clears throat> it's in a reverse. It's telling me that you feel like this person was, um, you know, possibly toxic towards you. Okay. They could have, you know, been in their ego feeling like they were, you know, just the shits but <laughs> what else here regarding this person okay you have the ace of cups with the nine of swords all right this is someone denying that they you know um need to fix something here okay this would have made um possibly you happy if this person recognize their selves and their behavior and possibly you know try to fix it but it's like okay if you're not going to do that then i have to move on here yes with the five of cups okay this is you this is you moving on all right someone could um be sad over this connection could be holding a grudge as well all right someone is needing to um you know possibly do some healing you know, within this situation. So, I see that's what you're trying to do um, this month, Libra. <clears throat> yeah, you have the Two of Pentacles here and the Seven of Spades. You felt like this person was getting away with something, okay? You could have felt like this was just too much for you to handle, okay? You possibly could have blocked this person um, as well. Um, but you felt like, you know, this person was lying about, um, these options and, and other people that they were dealing with, okay? They couldn't get their story straight, um, for most of you here. You have the Five of Cups at the bottom, all right? This, again, um, like I said, someone could be, uh, feeling regretful now, you know, um, not knowing where where they stand with you in this connection, okay? Alright, let's see um, this bottom half here. Let's clarify. Well, it's too many. Okay, you have the nine of wands here. Um, this is you having positive changes moving forward here, okay? Um, definitely something didn't turn out as you expected, and that's probably what you intuitively knew, that this wasn't going to work out possibly like you thought it was. You possibly could have felt like this was the one, all right? Yes, they can be a soulmate, but, um, sometimes our soulmates may not be ready for us, okay? Same with Twin Flames. Um, they can actually hold us back if they're not doing the work that they need to, you know, do to be... Um, at a certain level um, to match your energy, Libra. What else here? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, having a new opportunity. All right, this is also you um, having financial security during this time. I feel like again. Um, as we seen earlier, there is something that uh, some of you are working on, okay? This is going to bring in, um, you know, a newfound, you know, source of income for you, which is going to create your stability uh, during this month, okay? The Five of Cups, again, this is someone, um, you know, possibly reaching out, again, to try to reconcile. We've seen that earlier um, this month earlier in the reading for you that um, there's someone from your past that's really wanting to um, try to make this work and they're going to try to come back here um, Libra so yeah with the eight of pentacles okay um, I feel like 
you know, you're going to be happy doing with whatever it is that you're working on. All right. This is you having um, positive um, results with um, whatever it is you're putting your energy and time towards. Okay. This can be unexpected um, financial gains as well. And you could be traveling uh, possibly for work. Um, you could be meeting new people. Okay. But with the six of spades here, um, it's like you received your justice by leaving this connection. Okay. Yeah, four of swords here again. And then you have the king of wands. It's like um, this person possibly only wanted things to go, you know, their way. With the king of wands here, it's in a reverse, okay? They could have um, abused their power as well. The um, king of wands in the upright is someone who is usually focused and determined, okay? They could be in some type of leadership role as well, but in a reverse, you know, they are the opposite of that. They can be, you know, very toxic as far as um, their behavior and uh, some of their actions as well. But I see you ending the situation and um, getting away from this person, okay? Um, this is your energy here as well. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom, you're wanting to invest... Um, and something else okay this person possibly wanted to like I said could have reached out um, you, you possibly will be receiving a message from them because they're going to want to try to work on this connection they're going to want to try to see if they can um, if you know anything can improve and be worked out here for you all right Libra I'm going to pull your angels answers to close out your reading. Okay. Any other messages for my Libra? Alright. We have get more information. And don't stop. And at the bottom of the deck you have it's up to you. So... Um, I'm strongly feeling like, uh, with this card at the bottom here, um, uh, it's up to you. This is going to be regarding you and this person that's going to try to come back. Um, I already said, you know, basically I feel like this person, they see that you are, um, doing the work, um, uh, within, you know, possibly to heal, uh, you are raising your vibrations, you know, you're, um, uh, eating better, um, you're taking care of yourselves and, you know, they're going to want to come in here to basically, you know, um, get some of the, you know, good energy and light from you, um, here Libra, but it's up to you whether you choose to continue to deal with this person, um, don't stop, get more information, um, I feel like, Keep working on your goals and the things that um, you want to see um, transpire this month, okay? Um, I feel like you have options um, and resources available to you. Um, definitely write down um, any ideas and things that you have during this time, okay? Um, definitely work towards your goals as I seen, like I said earlier, um, this is you planning for your future, things that you want, you know, as well. Um, to see, you know, things that you want to see grow and see the uh, fruitions of it, you know, okay? So, uh, definitely... Um, this person, like I said, may want you to keep an open mind, but, um, it's up to you here, Libra, okay? Uh, communicate clearly, um, 
how you may feel. Um, you want something, like I said, that is balanced as well. Okay, so that's all I have, Libra. Um, I hope this helps, and I hope you have a good um, month ahead. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.